All right, this is going to be my mutating table uh, series of videos, and there's going to be basically four of them. The first one is how to set up your own environment, so you could kind of play along if you want. The second video is going to be uh, we're going to create a trigger that's not going to work, and it's not going to work because of the mutating table problem, so we'll understand what that means. The third uh, video will probably be just some of the background code we need to understand how to fix the problem. And then the fourth video will be us fixing the problem. So the first thing is if you want to sort of play along at home, um, what I, I did here is I completely ripped off, um, let's move this out the way, I ripped off a script from Live SQL, so livesql.oracle.com. Remember, you can go and create an account there if you want. If you go to the code library and you search for AMP and Depth, you'll get this script, which you could then download. Once you download it, you get this uh, uh, file, which you can either uh, load into your environment or literally just go copy and paste. And um, and then what all I did is I took that, copied it, pasted it into my relatively empty schema. I ran it, it ran pretty cleanly. It created these two objects, depth and empt. I'm really just gonna be focusing on emp. Emp, if you notice, it's pretty simple structure. We don't even have to worry about keys or anything like that for this example. It's just basically, just imagine a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet basically looks like this. If I go select asterisk from emp, there's my little spreadsheet um, with some pretty basic, simple data. And um, and what my big plan is, is I'm going to create a trigger that's going to ensure that when we update the salaries, a salary cannot be greater than the maximum salary already in the table. So if we look here, what is the maximum salary in the table? It seems to be king, all right? So if I wanted to basically update Smith's salary uh, to be more than the maximum salary in the table, which is currently king, if I wanted to update that, I want to basically explode saying you can't have a salary greater than the maximum salary or something like that. That's kind of what I want to happen. Now, in order to get this thing to work, first of all, it's gotta be a trigger. Right, so way to go. It can't be a statement level trigger because a statement level trigger is only fire on particular events like inserts, updates, deletes. In this case, I want to know uh, what the value of the salary was and what it will become. And that basically is going to screen to us a row level trigger. So we're going to be creating a row level trigger. Now, if you've forgotten or you don't know any of this stuff, um, what I would suggest is in the same place that you found this video, you'll see that I've got, um, by the way, this never works. Notice where my hand hand is now. I'm going to go down a little bit, but I'm trying to talk about the row above. Road to temporal trigger is the one that basically causes an explosion, right? So that's, if you want to sort of relearn how that works, that's how what I would do is I'd spend 32 minutes looking at the row to temporal trigger. If you're not sure how row level triggers work, the, the uh, three on top, right? The row to row level trigger, and then um, actually, see, that's like a whole hour. It's 52 minutes. But then I did it again in uh, in the take two uh, videos, which are just above that. So you can go ahead and have a look at those. And uh, and then you'd be ready to sort of, you'd have the background information to get to the point that we're going to get to here. All right. So uh, next time we get together, I'm going to create a trigger that actually will not work. <laughs>